Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we ask one question on this channel, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? A lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And today we're going to hit up a band called, what, try, I just forgot the name of the band. It's uh, Triumphant Imperial, I believe, out of New York, and uh, they're a black metal band. And their new album's getting a lot of good reviews. So I wanted to hit this up and I thought, well, you know, they don't really have a particular song from the album that's really standing out. So I thought I'd hit this official video featuring one of their former members uh, guesting on guitar and, are you ready for this, Kenny G. I'm like, what? Kenny G playing saxophone? Or, on a black metal song. I was like, I, I, I'm just, I'm too curious. I can't help it. Let's go ahead and hit it up. This is Imperial Triumphant. What did I say? Triumphant Imperial. So, and it looks like I have this muted. I apologize for that. Let's get that fixed. And we'll get right back to it. We're going live, folks. Sorry about that. I could edit that out, but I'll just leave that in so you know I'm human. Here we go. Man, I gotta get the uh, headphones in here too, man. I'm really disorganized. Sorry about that. They're just a trio. I like the drums. that bass up, holds that bass up high. Is there keys on this? Oh, violin, okay. Mm. That's hilarious.
drumming. avant-garde and neoclassical at the same time. Uh, decadence. video. Mm. Nice riffage. that uh, death metal style guitar uh, or black metal I'm sorry <laughs> I got so this uh, wow I and I really enjoyed that video because uh, yeah I've talked before about when there's too many cuts in a video it's like hey you know I don't feel like taking riddle in today okay this one just uh, you know a lot of uh, s uh, stationary camera I like that a lot. Only a few edits in it, and it had all that uh, decadence in that old uh, building, and so it contrasted with the music really well. I love the drums. So what I'm going to say about this is I'm I'm kind of pushing my limits a little bit because I've been listening to a lot of metal, but I'm not up on my black metal uh, like I could be, and that uh, section that came in with the choral part and the, uh, I think it was a synth, but the synth almost mimicked a harpsichord. It was an interesting keyboard tone. Uh, it comes right in the middle of that. It's a big surprise. Uh, then when it comes back, there was some good crunching uh, guitar chords. And I think the combination of the bass guitar and drums just coming in together at the same time so that it has that crunch is what I call it crunch so I did like this but I, I need to listen to it again um, I think that I'm, I'm not going to rate it because I feel like for all my um, yeah I have a fair amount of expertise but here I'm a little at sea uh, black metal is not my specialty I haven't listened to a lot of it and I don't think I have the proper context to talk about this and to draw on other bands and other influences like I normally do in these videos. So that's fine. I threw something on that's a little out of my wheelhouse. And so I'm, I'm not even sure what I think of it. I think I like it, uh, but I can't. I just can't put it in the context. I need to listen to more of this kind of music. So if you guys, uh, you know, your comments are going to be greatly appreciated, uh, greatly appreciated on this. But the musicianship was great. And, um, you know, I couldn't tell which one was singing, right? I think it was a guitarist, but um, I couldn't tell which one was singing because of the masks. When Kenny G came out with the gas mask, blowing his soprano sax through that gas mask, the band's got a lot of humor. A lot of humor. 
So it's it's got that dark and funny thing. I loved that. So uh, great stuff. Um, but it did push my limits a little bit. Uh, not in a bad way, in a very good way. So I got to acclimate myself to this kind of metal. Uh, the drums, though, I had uh, the drums is the one thing that I keyed right in on. I was like, okay, those are great drums. Loved them from start to finish. And I, I, I felt like I had some context for the drums, but the actual composition and arrangement is something a, a, a little new. And I have listened to black metal and death metal and other, you know, I talked about a, a friend of mine that sent me a whole bunch of links, mostly Scandinavian metal. And uh, I did a deep dive for about a week into that. And um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to hold off on a rating. Just a quick note on post-production. I just played this song for the second time. And, oh, my God, <laughs> this music is awesome. I loved it. So, I, And I also forgot to talk about the lyrics. I did a deep dive. I don't understand the lyrics at all. Um, reading them uh, what they mean which is fine and uh, I'm glad I read them because then uh, I couldn't understand what the singer was singing but musically whew, this sounded so this sounded three times better on a re-listen so I just wanted to chime in and as we say here in Mexico Mexico however you want to say it buen dia if you like what we're doing hit the like or subscribe button take care everybody